Hello, best friend, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. If this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, so if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. Grab a snack, grab a drink, hit that subscribe button, because, girl, we have to talk. So I welcome you guys to a new little series that I'm going to be, you know, coming in and out of. It's called... Da 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 blind item messy blind item i like that one more messy blind item so listen you guys there's so many different blind items out there and i'm obsessed with blind items because they are you know straight from allegedly the sources and they have you know all this information it's like you know people who work with people who know people who know the people's cousins you know gardeners you know um meat person uh you know bank uh clerk uh you know neighbor cousin uh, twin uh you know butler uh you know hairstylist you know all the people around you know the the, the huge celebrities sometimes they talk so these I'm gonna do some blind items. So this blind item is a very like crazy one. So just by the way, I'm definitely crediting NT Lawyer and Crazy Days and Nights uh, for this blind item. Now this blind, I'm starting with this blind item because you know what? There, there's so much things that people people have this like very weird uh, concept. What is it called? Conception? Is that a word? That just because you're famous and you're and you're and you're popular and you're you know on TV and you you're a singer and actor, does not mean you're gonna be rich forever, boo. So the blind item reads as follows: This foreign-born alliterate A. I don't know what that means. A minus B plus list singer slash actress is out of money. She kept her spending high and her income is down about ninety percent from its peak and this blind item was revealed to be allegedly about camila cabello so of course blind items you got to take it with a grain of salt so of course this is allegedly this is just a rumor but it is something so interesting to talk about because you just never really um can imagine that someone who is big and famous and popular and has music and and songs and albums and movies can be broke so listen we're gonna go through this right now so camila cabello if you guys don't know who she is she started off at um in a group called fifth harmony the group was formed in x factor by simon cowell um uh, Britney Spears, Demi Lovato, and they all came in as solo stars. But then they were put together because they were much better together, according to the judges. So that's how Fifth Harmony came about. Um, Fifth Harmony, you guys, took over. Like, Fifth Harmony was meant to be, like, the girl version of One Direction, okay? So... Camila Cabello and Fifth Harmony took over the world with songs like Give It To Me, I'm Worth It, That's My Girl. Um, what song? Oh my God. I mean, they have, you gotta, you gotta go to work, work, work. I mean, they had a lot of like good bops. I mean, I, I, can you take my pulse right now? It will feel just like a sledgehammer. Da -da -da. Like they had some good ass fucking hits. I actually used to love, I love a good girl group, okay? I, my favorite girl group, of course, is the Spice Girls. Then comes Destiny's Child. Then, um, I, I honestly, I didn't really get into Pussycat Dolls because Nicole doesn't let anybody fucking sing. And I really loved Fifth Harmony. Well, anyways, there's a lot of things that went on behind the scenes, uh, a lot of drama, alleged racism, a lot of like not great things. And that's the thing about girl groups, you guys, is that they never last, okay? And any kind of groups, because here's the thing, when you are in a group and you want it, your dream was to always be a solo star, when you become part of the group, you really can't do 100% of what you want. You can't really 100% be you, right? You have to always count on the other four members. You have to let other people sing. You know, it's not always what you want, how you want, you know, so people get tired. You know, Jerry left the Spice Girls. Beyonce, of course, became Beyonce. Justin Timberlake was famous for like just one album. I don't like Justin. And, you know, surprisingly, the Backstreet Boys girl, they're still together. But in One Direction, of course, you know, so many groups don't and, you know, don't are not successful because 
egos get in the way, drama happens, and you know, they just get tired and want to start their own thing. But of course, most of the time, not everybody is like in the solo artist department. But when Camila Cabello, she actually left the girl group and she started working on her first album titled Camila. The album came out and it actually sold 119,000 copies its first week, you guys. Of course, she had uh, her, 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 her first single was Crying in the Club. It was like a cute little song, but of course the song that took over was Havana. So that, I mean, Havana was everywhere, girl. Everybody was obsessed with Havana. So Havana came out and everyone's like, Havana, ooh, na, na, you know? So of course she was like huge. She was hanging out with Taylor Swift. She was hanging out with Gigi Hadid. She was like everywhere. And then, of course, she started dating Shawn Mendes, which also gave her a lot of popularity. Well, you guys, um, it just so happens that, you know, the first uh, single comes out, she goes on tour, it's amazing, blah, blah, blah. This was in 2018. Then 2020, she uh, releases an album called Romance. It didn't really do much. A tour was supposed to happen for romance, but of course COVID came in. So of course that had to be canceled. She spent all her quarantine with Shawn Mendes. So she was very like low key, right? Until her last album, Familia came out. And uh, her first single was, oh yeah, don't go yet, don't go yet, which was a cute song but it didn't really have that much commercial success. So compared to the first album, compared to her third, it only sold 27,500 copies its first week, okay? And, you know, that's a very big drop from 119,000. And here's the thing, I mean, she had some good collabs, you know, she had Willow, Willow Smith, she had Ed Sheeran, bam, bam, bam. You know, she had her good little singles, but it still just didn't perform amazingly well. So her net worth on Google is, is reported to be $18 million, right? But of course, you know, you really can't really believe net worths. So here's the thing about her being allegedly broke. You know, Lauren uh, Lauren from Fifth Harmony revealed that she does not get any kind of royalties from Fifth Harmony, that allegedly none of them get royalties. So if your, if your singles aren't selling, if your album isn't selling as it used to, you're not getting royalties from the girl group, of course money is gonna start drying up. And uh, allegedly, her, she really, she announced May 2020, May 2022, at the Met Gala when the album Familia came out that she really wanted to have a tour with the album and she really wanted to make it happen but allegedly her record company was like sorry you're just not selling so allegedly they tried to like you know see what that if there was any hype they wanted to put out arenas and they wanted to put out huge places but it just was there was not much interest so that tour never happened so here's why I think that she is allegedly, you know, having this kind of, you know, bad luck. Um, here's the thing. Camila Cabello came out of Fifth Harmony number one, right? But a lot of singers, you guys, that they let that go to their head, right? And the thing is, is when you are in the public eye, you have to do whatever it takes to continue to be in the public eye. She did the movie Cinderella, which I thought it was a great movie. I believe it was titled Cinderella. Hang on, I'm just gonna get the name right. It was, um, yeah, it was titled Cinderella. It came out in 2021. And you know what, I watched it, it was a cute movie. Um, and you know, it was, it was nice. And it was great to see her try to explore other kind of venues. But the thing is, you guys, you have to keep your name, you have to keep your image, you have to continue to be in the public eye because this this society girl forgets very easily. You can be on top one day and then the next you're out. Look at Lord, okay? Look at um, uh, Alyssa, Alyssa Carlo, I think that was her name. Uh, you know, so many artists who, who are on top of their game and then all of a sudden, poof, they're gone. You know what I mean? So if you if you kind of disappear, people forget about you. So I honestly feel that she has two options. Either try and get her career uh, her movie career going or 
hopefully she can go back on Fifth Harmony because Fifth Harmony, if they announce that they're coming back, which Ali from Fifth Harmony actually teased that allegedly something was happening with Fifth Harmony. If they come out with Fifth Harmony once again, they can start making money because none of them have had luck in this in, in, or success or you know they've had some success but not much of it even normani with motivation that came out it was a huge success then she disappeared right she had to take a lot you know she had a lot of personal uh situations with her family that she had to take care of so that's totally understandable but of course you know if you disappear from the public eye whatever the reason is you're forgotten so that is the, that's the thing, you guys. You have to keep your name in. So I think that what they all should do is, since they all tried for many years, the solo thing, it did not work out, they have to come back together. Together, they're commercially successful. Together, they can tour. Together, they, they can have, uh, you know, they can go back to their catalog that had a lot of songs, and they can come back, and I promise you, they bring in some new songs, they can go on tour, they'll make tons of money, and then that ad, that starts the engine again of the the uh, of their careers, and then they can try and see if they can continue to put some music out, but as a solo artist. But Camila, she needs to put her ego aside, go back to Fifth Harmony, and they all need to like go to th group therapy together, forgive one another, take accountability for things, you know, forgive one another, you know, say, you know what, maybe we don't like each other, but let's just look at this as a paycheck and get their coin. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you like this blind item. You know, there's a lot of pop culture that I just love and I really, you know, I, I like to learn about it. I like to study it. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in my next video.